Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to plan your quilt layout in Canva. Canva is a fantastic free online tool that helps you visualize your fabrics in your final quilt layout. So if you're working on a quilt project or have always wanted to start one, you've come to the right place. is an incredibly useful tool for designing a quilt layout and visualizing your fabric choices. You can easily create an account, import JPEGs of your fabrics and arrange them within a grid. If you already have a template for a Saint Chic quilt layout, you can even import it into Canva and use it to simulate how your quilt will look in the end with your chosen fabrics. In this video, I'll take you step-by-step step through the entire process of quilt layout planning in Canva. We'll look at how to create a Canva account, import fabric images, and arrange them in a grid or template to achieve the design you want. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create your own quilt layouts in Canva and put your creativity into action. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Follow my tutorial and you will be surprised how easy and fun it is to plan your custom quilt layout in Canva. Now let's get started together and bring your next quilt project to life. So the first step to get started with Canva is to create a free account. Uh, to do that, open your web browser and go to the Canva website. It's www.canva.com. Com. To create an account, click on register, like here. And now you have various options to sign in. We will go with our email address. And then I click on next step. Now I have to say that I'm not a robot, okay. And now I have to name my account. So I give it my nickname because I have already one. So I use a nick, another one. So this is now my account. Now they sent me a verification code to my email address. And now it takes me to the homepage. Voila. So you can also customize you experience with Canva, we use it for our private. So they ask me if they can send me a newsletter. I don't want that. And I am in. Now, the first thing is I want to create a design. So I go on the button and say create design. So I get a lot of um, standard formats here, like uh, Instagram post or a story or whatever. Um, in this case, I want to have a custom sized Canva. So I click on custom size and we say pixel thousand by thousand. And say create new design. Voila. So you still see this here is the home page and I can always go back here. And this is my page where I can create. So the next step is to import photos of your fabrics into Canva so we can use them in our quilt layout. To do that, we first need digital images of your fabrics in JPEG format. So you can either take your own pictures of your fabrics or if you bought them online, download the pictures from the retailer's website. Also, what you can do with Moda Fabrics, and this is a great thing to do, they have their website, modafabrics.com, and under Inspiration and Resources, there is Fabric Downloads. If you click there, you see all the collections offered. Now you can maybe type in your favorite collection. Let's say your favorite collection would be filigree, maybe. Then you find it here or if you have a favorite designer for example uh, maybe Saint Chic you click here 
and they go and then you find all the collections which were ever produced from Saint Chic. So obviously only the current ones are of interest for us. Here you see swatch page which you can also download. We want to have the GPEG images. So if you click on that button, you get all the GPEG images from the filigree collection in a zip file. This will then store it on your download file and from there you have to unpack it. I did this already with my new and upcoming collection, Bluish. Let's see how this will look. So I go back to my Canva, which I want to work right now. So here in the menu bar, you see uploads. And there is where we want to bring in our fabrics. So I click on upload and now I can either just drag them in from my folder or I can say um, upload files and then look for the concerning folder. So I now go to my latest collection. It's called, my upcoming one is called Bluish. And so here are all my Bluish files I want to have. So I choose them and they upload. While the pictures upload, you see this symbol and when it's filled in, your upload is done. You see these three little dots in the right upper corner if you click on those. You can rename your fabric if you want to. So if the item number is not the right thing for you, then you can call this one, for example, bluish hand quilted charcoal which is the official name for this fabric. So also what you can do is organize all your fabrics. Let's say you have more than one collection and you will group them in different folders. So you choose all of them. And here is a little folder and then I can bring them in this folder and rename it. The better way would to create first a folder and then upload your fabrics directly in such a folder if you know in advance um, the next collection you want to have. So I now bring them into that folder and create a new folder and then I create a new folder and call that bluish fabrics and then I confirm bring into new folder. Bam. So now here are your folders. If you click on that one, you see here are the different structures. If you click one, you see the bluish fabrics are here. So what we can do now, we can create a new folder and call that one maybe filigree fabrics. And now if, we, if I go to filigree fabrics, I can here directly bring in all the files I want. So I go to pick files So here are all my filigree fabrics and I can now mark all of them and upload those in this uh, already created folder. Now when you have brought in our fabrics and organized them into folders, in the next step I will show you how to create a grid and arrange your fabric images into it to create your quilt layout. So to find the matching grid you go in the menu bar and pick elements. And in elements, you can have all kinds of GIFs and frames and stuff like that. We are looking for grids and we click on show all. And they are sorted by 
numbers. So this has only one uh, grid and this has two and the most are on the most upper part. So I go for that one. If I click, it will automatically go onto my canvas. And from here, I can still make adjustments in size or proportions, whatever I like. Um, uh, for our example, I want to have it as a baby quilt like that. It's pretty simple just to see how things work. Though this little picture with the cloud represents one fabric. And I go now to my projects folder and here are all my filigree fabrics already opened. So the bluish fabrics would be here too. So let's go to those. And now I can just drag my favorite to the place where I want to have it. So um, for example, I choose this one and bring it on that place. And then I say, okay, next I want to have maybe a more calm fabric neighbor to it and so on. And in this manner, I can now bring every fabric to the position I want to have it. So I don't want the navy blues neighbored next to each other. I can now just bring a different fabric in that little part to override it. So you can always delete a fabric. You click on a fabric and you click on the delete tab of your keyboard like that. And then you can bring in a different one. So let's say we bring in the black one here. Also, what you can do is you could change the color of your background. You go to the background color picker and here you can choose any color you like, or you can also go with the suggestions based on your fabrics. So I think this blue could be a nice background color if I click on that one. So now my settings are all fin filled with that blue. And when my fabric doesn't show the right proportion, maybe this is only a five inch square, but the fabric shows as a 10 inch um, repeat, I can double click on this little picture here. And then I should be able to make it larger. So I can always make then the fabric a little bit larger. And now you see the repeat is a little bit different. This is how you can bring in your fabrics and can also change a little bit the proportion in the background. So I fill in my baby quilt with the rest of my fabrics. And now have fun playing around with different grids. Remember, you will find them within elements and pick other ones and test it out on yourself. Now, this grid we just created is quite a little bit limited, but we have something really cool for you. I have created a couple of ready-made templates for some of the Zen Chic quilts. And if you would like to use our special Zen Chic quilt layout template, you can do so directly in Canva. We have prepared template files for you that you can easily open in your Canva account. In this step, I'll show you how. First, you need to open the link and now you see a new Senshik quilt template appears and you can use the template by clicking on this button. So we click on the button to use this template. We already have something in the bluish colors and in the lazy afternoon fabrics and in rainbow colors. Isn't that just amazing? Now, when you start to play around 
with your own fabrics, you might eventually mess up. So it would be easier to go back to your home page and you click on home like that. And now you find this template here. You click on the three dots and you say, make a copy. And with this copy, you can edit and you can mess up and you still have the original. So we click on the copy. And now I want to redo this quilt with filigree. But I will still keep that version. So I click on duplicate like that. Now I have the blue one and I can change this one to a different version. So first I want to exchange all the fabrics. I go to my filigree fabric folder over here and now I can start dragging them in. So in this case we have kind of a gradient where we have the darker fabrics on one edge of the ball and then we have a highlight here and this is a good template for you but you still could go a little bit more random or whatever you prefer. So just for the sake of demonstration I go a little bit more random here and I start picking a fabric. Oh let's redo it. Grabbing a fabric and drawing in in and where you draw it over that part where you want to have it and then leave your mouse like that. Next you grab another fabric, draw it over to the triangle where you want it to have and then you leave your mouse pointer and another one and another one. I want to bring that here and bring that one over here. Let's do one over here and so on. So for example, if I want to change this background over here, I could bring in um, just maybe a coordinate, but this is a little bit too upscaled. So I rather go and change the color and say, okay, let's do maybe an orange for the background like that. See, so I can change the background color here. So I would go forward and fill in all kind of different fabrics. And then when I'm done, I can still change um, where I want to place which one. And when I'm done, I can save my project. So we have the globe file for you in three different versions already. Isn't that just amazing with the rainbow? But we even have more for you. So we have also the right on white pattern. So also you can click on use template. You would save it and then just work on the copy. And then there you can exchange the fabrics to your liking. And the third one which we can show you is the amazing jewel pattern. Make a copy of it so you have something as a backup and then fill it with your favorite fabrics like that. Now, when you have created your own version of your project, let's say we have this one, you want to download it so you can print it out and use it as a reference for your project. First, you want to save it. Usually Canva saves your project while you're working on it. But to be in each case sure, you go to file and then you can go to save like that. And then all changes are saved. And now you can download it. Click on the share button in the right upper corner where you get also a download option. When you go to the list bar, you see JPEG, PNG and so on. So we go here for JPEG and we just download it. 
and now it saves to your default download folder and from there you can open it and print it out and then lay it next to your project as a reference. See, you've successfully created, saved and exported your quilt layout in Canva. Now you can put your creative ideas into action with your own unique quilt. I hope you like this tutorial and now have the knowledge you need to work with Canva for your own quilt layouts. If you found our templates helpful, please leave us a comment below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more interesting quilting tips and tricks. Have fun quilting and see you next time.